Thank you, thank you. I know it's been, it's been a long time coming. Thank you. It's about time. Welcome to the Sean Ryan Show. So, <clears throat> been talking about doing this podcast for a long time, and we kind of decided, <clears throat> fuck it, we're going to go for the late night show look. So, took a little longer than uh, we were planning, but... Anyways, we got, took us a while to find a director, too, so everybody give it up for Griffin over here, our director, huh? Yeah, Griffin. All right, so we got a guest. We're going to bring him in, and uh, it's somebody you all know. We're going to talk to a former SEAL, former CIA, owner of Vigilance Elite, Sean Ryan. <laughs> so, we've all noticed you've been gone for what? Damn near the entire second quarter. And where have you been up to? Where the fuck have you been? There haven't been very many videos. You haven't been very lively on the gram or any of the other social media platforms. What's going on? No, thanks for having me, Sean. I appreciate it. But now, you know, I just, I've been, I have a lot going on. You know, I'm getting married in three months. And, you know, recently moved from Boca Raton to Tennessee, to Franklin, Tennessee, and uh, right away got that property, Shooter Ready Ranch, have been hard at it, trying to get that thing up and running, and uh, it is, it's up and running now, so that's good. Um, been trying to get this podcast thing going, sound checks, studio, you know, I mean, you know how it is having a podcast and, the, you know, I mean, shit, you got a late night show. Look at all this lighting you've done. I mean, the shit's incredible. But um, what else, you know, and then online training, uh, apparel business, we had those flannels, they went crazy. So, yeah, I mean, I just, I've been busy. So speaking of Shooter Ready Ranch, you made that video back in, I can't remember when, a couple months ago, maybe January. <clears throat> and you had these big plans and then everything kind of, you know, we didn't really hear much about it. So what's happening with that? No, I mean, everything's going good. You know, we, I think we can get 500 yards out of it. We got, uh, we got a cabin out there that clients can stay in. We've got you know, the range, put this big wall up it's, uh, with, and uh, had We the People, you know, painted on it, which is pretty fucking cool. And, uh, yeah, we just, we actually just had our first client out there uh, last weekend. Well, I'm glad to hear that it's, it's coming together and that it's ready. So we saw... I checked out your Instagram before you came out here today, and uh, I saw some, a lot of pictures of, uh, and some pretty cool videos of you and UFC fighter Andre Ovlowski. Was he training out there with you? Yeah, yeah, he came out. He came out. We had a couple of days of training. It was, it was uh, I mean, he's a good shooter. I got, is that guy, I mean, being a former heavyweight champ, UFC fighter, is he like as big as you would think he is, would be? And uh, does he intimidate you? You know, I, I didn't, yes, he is as big as you think he is, but, uh, or would be, but, uh, you know, I, I, I Googled his, uh, his stats and, and, um, and everything about him before he came out, and it said 6'3", and normally I wouldn't think 6'3", is like really tall, but I'll tell you what, 
when he walked in my kitchen about three days ago, I was like, holy shit. I mean, just the <laughs> meat claws alone on that guy. If he, if he hits you, it's, it's, you're in for a surprise. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, I, he's intimidating. There's no doubt about it. So yeah, you know, he is. So on Instagram, we've been seeing a lot of this Prepare me some whiskey and, and a lot of whiskey. And you're a wine drinker, right? So, why don't you, like, did you switch to whiskey or, you know, what, what is that all about? No, I didn't switch to whiskey. He is a big whiskey drinker. And, uh, you know, the first time I talked to him on the phone, we were kind of setting this stuff up and. <clears throat> preparing dates and what what he wanted to train on and and how he wanted it to go how many days and and uh at the end of that conversation he just you know he says uh make sure you prepare me some whiskey yes and, uh, i just started laughing and I, I was like yeah of course i'll prepare some i'll prepare some whiskey so that's where that whole thing came from but yeah that almost sounds like, that sounds very similar to some of your story times, which I know you get a lot of uh, requests from your, from your audience for story times. And I'm just kind of wondering where do those, where do you come up with these stories? Are they real? Are they real experiences? Are they like half real, half fairy tale? Like what, it, what is the deal with the story times? Nah, they're all real. They're all 100% real. I don't make any of that shit up. Um, I came up with story time. You know, I was starting a YouTube channel, and I was looking at all my competitors, and they all are so, they're such hard asses, and they have no sense of humor, or, you know, at least it's not displayed when in their marketing. And so I wanted to bring some humor into, you know, a very serious subject. And so I figured, well, I won't do the story times. But, yeah, no, they're all real stories from deployments or or from training. And, and um, rather than talk about all the badass shit we did at, you know, the SEAL team or over at the agency, I thought, well, why don't we talk about some of the funny shit that happened, some of the fuck-ups and, and um, shit that you can kind of, sit back and laugh about now. I mean, there's so much of the other stuff that nah, there's not enough of this. So, so boom, story time was born, you know? Well, Sean, I saw a couple of these commercials you put up on, in the middle of your videos with, that have to do with apparel. I have to say, Sean, you're a pretty funny motherfucker. There's no doubt about it. You're pretty fucking funny too, Sean. No doubt about it. <laughs> so tell us more about, you know, what is this, what, what kind of apparel do you have? Where are you going with it? Now, you know, one of my goals of 2019 was to start building an apparel company. And so I kind of started with t-shirts and uh, hats. And then I wanted to, again, I just wanted to be something a little bit different than what everybody else is doing. So. I did flannels. <clears throat> um, I'd seen flannels in a while. They're great for concealed carry, and, and you know, I'll be damned. They went wild. So um, we're going to bring them back this fall. I mean, they just they did great. People love them, and uh, we're going to try to get some more designs out, and um, you know, we'll see where it goes. But yeah, flannels went crazy, and then and so now we got you know it's summer, and so. Uh, people ask for them still, but uh, we got a couple new t-shirt designs like this one I think is hitting the market right now uh, sometime this week. So there's going to be some, yeah, some new shirts coming out, t-shirts and, and uh, yeah, so I wanted to get into apparel. I saw those flannels and... I got to say, you are one sexy-looking motherfucker in those damn flannels. There's, I mean, 
You look good. Well, thanks, Sean. You look pretty fucking good yourself in those. I mean, not as good as me, but, you know, you're up there. <laughs> so are you going to bring those flannels back? Because I tried to buy one the other day and they're fucking gone. But, you know, and I think I might actually be a little better looking than you if I were to wear that. <laughs> so you're starting this big podcast. Where are you planning to go with this? What kind of guests are you going to have? What do you want to talk about? Uh, you know, I just, I wanted to start this podcast. You know, I was ready for something new. You know, the training thing is awesome. The apparel's awesome. But, you know, I fortunately have ADD. And um, so whenever I start getting uh, a little too comfortable or maybe even a little bored, I I got to venture off into other stuff. So I started the podcast, and then the podcast idea turned into a video podcast idea, and then that wasn't good enough. We were going to do fireside chats, and then so I figured, you know, fuck it, man. We're getting a studio, and, uh, you know, here we are. But um, And then what we're going to talk about, I mean, you know, the guests, I, the guests I'm going to have, military uh, friends, I'll probably start with friends, and then, you know, who knows where the fuck it's gonna go, but it's not gonna be all shooting and guns and, and, and military, it's gonna be a wide variety of stuff, some of the guests I wanna have, I wanna have, um, I wanna have Arvlosky on, my, you know, I wanna have <clears throat> Clint Emerson from 100 Deadly Skills, Flex Lewis, um, the only guy to beat Schwarzenegger's record, uh, my buddy Dave Rutherford, I mean, you know, everybody loves Dave, right? Yeah. Uh, Slade William, he's a medically retired SEAL. He's got a uh, CBD company that he's starting up. Uh, Gun Bunny Actual, we're going to have her on. She's a former Apache pilot and retired Army. Uh, total fucking badass. Mike Ritland, the master of fucking podcasting, former SEAL, wrote, I don't even know how many books, uh, is a canine guy, fucking badass dude. Um, yeah, we got Jeff Reed from Frozen Trident Kennel, we want to try to get him on. Mike Glover from Fieldcraft Survival, uh, former Green Beret. I want to get him out here as soon as possible, uh, work together with him for a little while. So, yeah, you know, we've got a long list of people. No dates are set yet. We just wanted to make sure we got everything right and uh, perfect. That way nobody flies out here for no fucking reason at all, and it's all fucked up. So now that we have our shit wired, uh, we're ready to start setting some dates. So I can't wait to see where it goes. Do you think your podcast is going to be as good as this late night show. Sean, I think my podcast is going to blow this fucking late night show out of the water without a fucking doubt. <laughs> well, Sean, I just want to say I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to come here on the Sean Ryan show and, and tell us a little bit about what's been going on and where you've been. Before we end this, can you tell me what's coming next with Vigilance Elite other than the podcast? Well, Sean, I think I pretty much just spent about the last 30 minutes telling you exactly what the fuck's coming. So uh, maybe you just, you know, go take a look at the reel. <laughs> but yeah, private lessons are back up at Shooter Ready Ranch. Um, the training videos that I promised everybody at the beginning of the year are going to be coming out real soon. Probably just wait maybe until fall so it cools down a little bit. Um, and then, you know, podcasts coming, more apparel's coming. So, you know, go be on the lookout for these different colors. So, yeah, we got all kinds of good shit getting ready to happen. And uh, this whole, uh, there'll be some new videos coming out with our Velasquez on the YouTube channel. That'll be pretty cool. And... And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to all of it. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a wrap. Sean, thanks again for coming, and uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's been a real pleasure. So, and uh, you guys are all awesome. Milk duds. Those things were popular like back in the fucking 90s. What is the deal with the milk duds? I know me and about 300,000 other people are dying to fucking know what's the deal with the milk duds. Do you really like them that much? Do you really like them that much? Who the fuck doesn't like milk duds? Yeah, I like them that much. Now, I, I started uh, eating the milk duds when I was in, I don't know, first grade, or trick-or-treating, and I would steal all the milk duds from all the other kids because I, I liked them so much. And then, uh, yeah, and uh, so then, you know, then we started this, and I got into the Instagram thing, which, you know, Everybody loves Instagram, and everybody hates Instagram. But, um, yeah, you know, the, I was, everybody I was following is showing me what fucking workout drink they're mixing up, and their chicken, and their healthy meal, and, you know, then another fucking whatever, maybe some juice, and then more protein shakes, and then, you know, maybe a little bit, maybe even some more protein shakes, and then, hey, have another protein shake. And I was like, hey... I just want some fucking candy, man. So, um, so I started posting stories of milk duds, and then uh, the shit just went. Then the next thing you know, they're back in style, and everybody's fucking eating milk duds again. It's fucking awesome. All right, Sean, that's a wrap. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, thanks again for having me. I appreciate it. Good luck with your late night show. <laughs>